fringe horn or F horn or sometimes just called the horn. It uses a mouthpiece that's uh, similar in size to the trumpet mouthpiece, but has a very narrow rim. It's also more difficult to control what note comes out of the horn as opposed to the trumpet because the amount of notes that could come out of the instruments uh, is greater on the horn. Let me demonstrate by show you by showing you some of the notes that can come out of the instrument without pressing any valves down. And in the very low range, It can be tricky to, um, to control which note comes out of the instrument, which is why a lot of times um, students don't start horn until 7th or 8th grade. Now it may depend on the school, but at least at the school I teach at, they don't start until junior high right now. Um, another thing that makes it different from other brass instruments is the valves are operated with the left hand instead of the right hand. And the right hand, speaking of the right hand, you make kind of a, a princess wave shape and it goes in the bell. It shapes the sound as it comes out. It ensures that the sound is in tune. The French horn or the horn is a little bit of an odd duck in the brass instrument family, but it's very valuable. It has a unique tone quality, a beautiful tone quality when it's in the hands of a very skilled player and has a, an extraordinary range when it's being played by somebody who knows what they're doing. I hope you enjoyed this little introduction to the horn, and I'll see you tomorrow.